Hey, what's up guys? Abel Sky here with another episode of Magical Stuff and Things. This time, I have a black-white deck that I just finished editing. So, and I, well, and I actually sorted the cards this time. So, let's take a look through. Actually, this is the pretty boring part. We have no non-basic lands, which we probably should have, but I ran out. Everyone needs Terramorphic Expanses. That is the bottom line. Don't listen to anyone else. Everyone needs Terramorphic Expanses. Now, that's 11 planes and 10 swamps. Black white deck. Let's have a little fun with this. Creatures. This card is just the best card ever. That's why there are four of her in the deck, because she's amazing. And to go along with that, another uh, Eventide card. This is Night Sky Mimic. Uh, both white and black. He got a 4 4 flyer. And that's pretty great. Especially if you can get that out on turn 2. Then on turn 3, you drop another Gwillion. Or you'll see one of the other cards from the non land pile. But Night Sky Mimic is just great. And of course, Voracious Hatchling. Only two of him in here because they're a little bit more expensive. And we just didn't have them. This, again, is from cards that are just here. We didn't buy any of this. We didn't go out and construct this deck. If we did, it would be a lot different. But this is what we have, and it's still probably going to work out pretty great. But Voracious Hatchling gets its life. You get your counters. You play white spells and black spells. And you win the internet. Well, no. Spectral Rider... Love this card. Great Innistrad Uncommon. Pretty great flavor text. It's cheap and it's effective. And it's a spirit. A lot of spirits in here, but no spirit affinity. Bloody Ghost, it's a really essentially a 2 2 flyer for 3. It'd work great with Undying, but that'd be a whole combo deck that we're not going to get into. I love Skin Render. Everything about Skin Render is amazing. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4. It enters the battlefield with an amazing ability, and it looks like that. It just... How could you not love anything that looks like that? It's so ostensibly evil. Unlike Totem Guide Heartbeast. Now, this card is a little bit off in this deck, because no one really expects this to be a major aura deck. I mean, you got your green-white with your core spirit dancer and your R gnarlids, but this does work in this deck simply because the R's are so simple and useful that you really can't help not to have a couple of these antelopes. These are antelopes? I did not notice that. These are antelopes. This is amazing. I love antelopes. And Stonehorn, dig to the Dibbity, dig to whatever it is. It's a good blocker and has <clears throat> a great entering ability. Just because. M12 had a good common out of this card, especially in Drafts and Sealed. Now for the non land cards. Here are ours, most of them. Lifelink, it's cheap, but I love it. I mean, you drop it onto a, even a skin render, you put a little Apostle's Blessing, and you have a pretty great creature with a lot of life to give. Of course, Apostle's Blessing. Oh my god, I love this card. <laughs> cheap R, oh, enchant non-black creature. Yeah, I'm probably going to take these out after, put in, I don't know, an arrest or something. But still, when you have it on the right creature, a call to serve get you some pretty great stuff. I, th I didn't know it was a non-black creature. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. It's really, that's actually kind of annoying. Never mind, this card sucks. Pacifism, always amazing. Edge of Divinity. It's just, oh, come on. It's so evil and doesn't want to focus on it. 
on a Nipquillian, it makes things amazing. On anything else, it makes it amazing. I mean, got a shiny cauldron haze here. And really, this is just a cheap black and white instant. And it doesn't do a whole lot. It only affects about half the creatures that are in the deck. But it's still a pretty great card if you want to get cheap black and white stuff. Not unlike Pillory of the Sleepless, which is evil. It's pacifism, but evil. So evil. Oh, focus, focus. Zell's Persecution, again, a cute little black and white card. Not very well known from Alara Reborn. And it has zombies dying on it. And a really crazy night person from Grixis. I love the flavors from that set. And last but not least, Tainted Sigil. The Sigil of the Taint. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, so, again, it's a really nice little black and white card. You tap it, you get some life from creatures when they don't have lifelink. Even if they do have lifelink, get you a little more life. So it's a bit on the defensive side. Anyway, that is the black and white pile. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.